All right, I'll call this meeting to order. Uh, roll call. Bird. Here. Henson. Here. Norman. Here. Elsebeck. Here. Williamson. Here. Ingstrom. Here. Of agenda. Any changes, Your Honor? Yes, there's one change. We will remove uh, 3A Ames Economic Development Commission work quarter report that will be rescheduled for the first meeting in February. Move to approve with that exception. Second. Call the roll. Henson? Yes. Mormon? Yes. Tulsa Beck? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Ingstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. <clears throat> Any public comment for items not on the agenda? Seeing no public comment. Number five, a report to standing committee. Uh, Policy Administration, Employer Relations, Williamson? No report. Okay. Thank you. Public Safety and Transportation, uh, Hillsbeck? Um, we will not have a meeting on the 31st unless something comes up. That's important. But Did you uh, say not? Not. We will. Okay, thank you. Yep. Uh, utility Committee, Angstrom. Uh, the, we have a meeting tomorrow. It's a makeup from the 9th, so we'll uh, have something for the next meeting. Okay. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Economic development, Mormon. Um, other than uh, we uh, approved the BAME insurance, BDIF grant, um, go down town and when you're down there, take a look. It looks fantastic. And H and R Block finished up theirs too, the new signage and stuff. So that section, of, section of that block, it's looking really nice. Other than that, I have nothing else here. Okay, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> department reports. Uh, building official Dave Ames. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, tonight, for council, uh, we present to you, as we do every year, our uh, uh, list of 2023 applications for tax event uh, associated with our Jump Start Building Program. Um, this year's list uh, consists of 21 residential properties and two commercial properties. Uh, residential property uh, valuation came in at around $2.7 million, and our commercial applications came in at around $691,000 in uh, improvements. <clears throat> As you guys know, the uh, Jumpstart boon allows for uh, tax abatements, for rehabilitations to existing uh, residential and commercial properties, and also uh, allows for tax abatement for new construction um, on those on vacant land or land with existing structures. Uh, for the residential properties, um, <clears throat> those properties are requesting a 100% uh, exemption for taxation on the first $75,000 of added value uh, for five years. Uh, with the understanding that the improvements must increase the assessed value of about 10 percent. On the commercials, uh, it's for a 100 percent uh, exemption for the actual value of the improvements for three years. Um, again, with the improvements um, increasing the value 10 percent. Uh, Bill, Andrea, and I have went through this list that's on the associated uh, resolution. And we believe all those properties uh, meet those criteria and we present that tonight for, um, for you guys to look at and would request a motion. Move to approve. Second. Call the roll, please. Norman? Yes. Elsa Beck? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Kingstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm. Uh, officer, Andrea. Uh, Friday, you guys should have received an email including um, fiscal year 2025 proposed budget. I do have two more paper copies here with me tonight if uh, you're wanting one of those. Um, if you have any questions, uh, I'd be willing to take those. Otherwise, we'll discuss those tomorrow night um, at our budget work session. Bye. Thank you. Uh, City Attorney Rafe. Uh, no report, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, Public Works, anyone? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to report to council that uh, over the last eight days, Public Works has logged about 770 hours of plowing 
use 1,400 gallons of fuel and 70 tons of salt. Very nice job. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Uh, library, Jamie? Um, yes, I have something. It's not really a library per se, but it is for um, anybody, or any council or any city staff who want to sign up for the Main Street IO application workshops. Those are being held on January 31st and February 5th at the library from 1030 to 230. There is a, I think Kelly might have sent out a sign up, but if you haven't received an email, I want that link, let me know. That's it. Thank you very much. Uh, parks. Mike. Uh, we uh, closed parks down the last week and right before last weekend, and we did get them back open today. It was kind of nice because we had two funerals Saturday and we could concentrate on Linwood and keep that clear for them. So, but they're back open. Thank you. I have a question. Can I yep. go ahead? Sure. Um, can I ask you, do you know, and, and I haven't checked all of them, but do you know if we have signage in all of our parks? Because I think there are some that they don't have a sign that tells what park it is. Um, we should have. Okay. Unless, unless they've been uh, removed by someone else, we should have a sign denoting each park and when it was established. Okay. Because I have and check. Okay, if you just look, because I have we have one that's not far from us that I don't ever see a sign, and and so um, it's just right there by the water tower. Is that a and there's it's park? It's not a park, but it's got. So who own, who's but that have, dugout? Is it's like a. Just a backstop. Backstop practice field. It's not a named park. park. Yeah, that's not a park. Okay. So that's just a school. It's just a lot. Yeah, I'm not sure who owns that. Okay. Very good. It sounds like it's a quick job then. You know. <laughs> but it's, if you notice any that don't have one, you aren't happy to get one of those. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Anything else? Okay. City engineer, Bill. There isn't anything, sir. Okay. No report. Um, <clears throat> public safety. Done. Yes, Your Honor. I have a couple of uh, requests and things. Uh, first off, is uh, for uh, the assistance to firefighters grant. Last year, we applied for one for an ambulance. Um, we received the turn down letter. Um, when I had the webinar with the, you, they, you get to go on this webinar. Ours is still open. Um, so tonight, I'm requesting uh, to apply for that again. Um, it's a five percent match. So we would apply for three hundred fifty thousand dollars. It's a five percent match. Would cost us around seventeen thousand five hundred. It doesn't require any other building additions, any other type of things like that, Mr. Morning. So, uh, so you say. So yeah. I say. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, it'll fit in the same spot that we have. Um, so Understand? It'll sit outside. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, essentially, to take the spot of the current one that we have uh, from the hospital right now. Um, Are you going to get rid of that one then? We would, yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, the second part of that is we have an opportunity. Uh, AFG has a couple of parts in their uh, grant cycle. So the first part would be for we could do a vehicle or apparatus uh, grant. And the second part uh, that we're looking at is, is we're trying to embrace um, some of the cancer causing stuff for firefighters. Des Moines just lost another firefighter to cancer, uh, work-related cancer. And so one of the things that we would like to look at is um, applying in that grant cycle, in that grant system for a vehicle exhaust removal system, which would basically, it's an exhaust system that hooks up to our trucks and, and um, blows the exhaust out of the building um, at that time. And that would be in the amount of $150,000 at a 5% match would cost us around $7,500. So I would look for a motion for approval to apply for the assistance to firefighters grants. Move. Any second? Okay. Any discussion? Okay, call the roll. Elsabeth? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Engstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Norman? Yes. And not to rub it in, but I leave Wednesday and we'll see what the temperature last time was. <laughs> 75. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Police Department, you can no report, report. Thank you very much. Co pilot. Uh, city Administrator, Bill. Thank you. So first item is updated on the election and the council packet was the schedule we received from the county auditor. Uh, election date is March 5th. 
would be first Tuesday in March. And everything else is on that schedule. I'll, I'll try to answer any questions if you have any. I need a motion for that? No, no, you already, I think you already did. We have, we sent them the meeting minutes and that was good enough for them. So I think it's okay. My second item is, uh, as directed by council, a resolution regarding hats worn in the council chambers. It's part of the packet. Uh, it's there for your review and or approval if you so deserve. I move to approve. Second. Any discussion? Please. Williamson? Yes. Ingstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Mormon? Yes. Back? Yes. The only uh, other thing I have is a reminder of the budget meeting tomorrow night at 6. We will have food here at 530. Thank you. Uh, number seven, uh, consent agenda. If there are any items that are listed under consent agenda that you would like to uh, have removed, please do so now. If not, I need a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Call the roll, please. Engstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Foreman? Yes. Hilsebeck? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Number eight, ordinances. A, third reading, ordinance 2300 to allow the city of Boone, Iowa to change the stop sign regulations on West Park Avenue and South Main Street, Chapter 65, Section 65.02, 57. Second. Call the roll. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Norman? Yes. Elsebeck? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Ingstrom? Yes. Yep. Move to adopt. Second. I was waiting for Cole. I was waiting for you. <laughs> Henson? Yes. Foreman? Yes. Hilsebeck? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Ingstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. <clears throat> B, second reading, ordinance 2301 to allow the city of Boone, Iowa to change the procurement by request for proposal language in the Code of Ordinances, Chapter 32, Section 32.01. Move to approve. Second. Well, please. Mormon? Yes. 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 Ingstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Okay. Uh, number nine, uh, Mayor's comments. Uh, I do want to take the opportunity to deepest thanks to Public Works, Waylon, all of your crews for what you've done over the past several days. I know that uh, it's been intense and a, a lot of work, and I know the city of Boone greatly appreciate everything that you guys have done. Um, additionally, uh, Chief Weeble, you and your staff uh, for keeping everything out there, keeping everybody safe, and uh, Chief Adams with the fire that just happened. Thank you to you and your crew for being out there. And that's all I have. Uh, ten council member comments. Just real quick, uh, I actually graduated from Perry High, um, and I'd love to see just all our thoughts and prayers with them. Uh, Mr. Barberger was my principal. My best friend now is the associate principal. Witnessed it all. It's uh, it's been a terrible, terrible, tough time on them. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> any other council member comments? Your Honor, I forgot one thing I should have mentioned I had it on my list here is um, this is the time of the year that we see a lot of uh, landlord tenants issues with uh, heat and stuff. And just know that we're trying to when they when the landlords or excuse me, the tenants complain to us at the rental department about not having any heat. We're trying to expedite those, but they, there is a, a little bit of a process. It takes a couple of days sometimes. So we, if, if you guys get any calls, assure them that we're, we're trying to work through the complaint process as fast as we can once we receive them and work with the landlord to get, usually it's just the landlord's waiting to get a, a technician out there this time of the year, which is so. Thank you. Any other comments? Okay. Yeah, this meeting is